Welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make insane stocks that you guys can use in the background of uh, thumbnails, uh, in the background of YouTube banners and headers and logos. And they look really clean and it's very, very easy to do. Um, I've used this me method to make stocks in my GFX packs. And um, yeah, they're really, really nice. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below. Can we break 250 likes on this video? That would be a mate a minute. That would be amazing. Subscribe if you are new, and also let me know what video you'd like to see from me next. And yeah, let's just get straight into it. Right guys, so we're here in Photoshop. So the first thing you want to do is go to File New 1280 by 720. So yeah, we're making some really cool stocks. And basically what we'll be doing is going to filter and using all these effects over here. <clears throat> and basically we're going to be making abstract stocks. So it basically means that you don't have to, it doesn't really matter what you use because they've all got their own little like um, outcomes. So whichever way you do it, like it'll just turn out sick. So the first thing you actually want to do is go to file, or not file, uh, new layer and go to filter render clouds so as you can see once you've rendered the clouds um, it's purple and black that's because the colors I've got is the first primary color is purple the secondary color is black so if I changed it to a different color like let's say if I chose like a blue then when I render it out again render clouds it will be blue so yeah, it doesn't really matter what colour it is, <clears throat> it's totally up to you guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to filter once you've done that and you can just mess around with these and I'll just show you guys some of the methods I use to create cool stocks. So uh, one of the methods is just go to pixelate, mosaic and then straight away you get this really nice pixelated effect and some areas are darker than others and it just looks really cool. And then the next thing I like to do is duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J, go to Filter, Stylize, Find Edges, and then Ctrl I to invert it. And then if you go to like Color Dodge, basically it enhances the colors of the line, like the outlines of the different pixels, and it just looks really cool. As you can see the difference, it looks nice. And then sometimes I like to rub away certain areas. <clears throat> so for example the darker areas I like to rub away like so and it gives it a really cool effect I do like that a lot um, so I'll just group that and that's one little stock done I'm gonna add a new layer filter render <coughs> clouds and then if you press Control F you can actually flip the clouds and it renders different types of clouds so yeah and then if you press ctrl u you can change the color of the clouds so i'll just do like a red for this one so if you go to filter and then go to distort ripple and then change this the size to large you can create a really cool ripple effect like that and that looks really nice <clears throat> and then once you've done that I like to go to style wind and then if you go to stagger and then press ctrl F and then basically what that does is duplicates the last effect that you just did so the last one I did was wind and then when you press ctrl F it duplicates it and as you can see that looks really nice it's like a wave effect and it looks really cool in the background background of um, designs and then what I like to do is just press Ctrl J to duplicate it <clears throat> and then go to filter, stylize, find edges, Ctrl I and then go to color dodge and then like before basically it enhances the outline of all the different waves and it looks really nice and I'm just going to rub away certain areas and then bring down the opacity a little bit and there you go that's another cool stock done it, you can literally just mess around with all the different effects and you, you basically you come out with a nice um, a nice little background stock every single time so I'm just gonna <clears throat> change the color of it maybe purple 
I might give this pack away if you guys want. If we break 250 likes, I will give away this little stock pack for you guys. I'll make five or four or five. So now I'm going to go to motion blur. I'm going to blur it out a little bit. I'm going to filter, pixelate, and mosaic. Uh, filter, distort, ripple. And then I'm just going to bring down the the, um, the amount, and then it ripples it, and that looks really nice. I do like that a lot. And if you press Ctrl J to duplicate it, go to File, Stylize, Wind, Stagger, and then you get these really cool line effects, and then duplicate it a couple of times. And then you get that, and that looks really, really nice. And then duplicate it one more time, Filter, Stylize, Find Edges. Control I to duplicate it and then you get that. But another thing that I like to do as well, if you go to filter, filter gallery, once you've done them find edges, um, you get that outline, don't you? So if you go to stylize glowing edges and then edge width, edge width brings that down all the way, brightness up all the way and smoothness down all the way. It basically, it does the exact same thing but enhances it a little bit more. If you go to color dodge, it um, basically makes all the outlines even brighter. So it looks pretty cool. And another thing that I like to do to the stocks, once I've made the actual stock, <clears throat> I like to go to the brush tool and just go over it myself, manipulate it a little bit. So like, I'll add some overlay areas. So change that to overlay. Or just like whatever color I've used in the middle, I might just click and change that to like color dodge or something like that. Or soft light, and then just group it all together, and it just looks really cool. So those are the three stocks that I've got at the moment, and they are all different, but they all look really cool in their own ways. I'm going to do another one right now. So new layer, filter render it's very easy it doesn't take long that's the good thing about it i am change the color again do green filter pixelate mosaic and i'm going to go filter stylize find edges and then i'm going to go filter distort ripple and then you get that that looks really really cool now i'm just going to Add a new layer, go to green, alt backspace to fill it in. So there's a green layer and then you've got the stock and then if you go to color dodge, or not color dodge, overlay I think. Um, it's not really doing anything. Oh no, never mind, let's do that again. Add a new layer above it and then go to green and then in certain areas just click change it to like overlay or something linear dodge bring down opacity something like this and then we'll add some overlay spots it just looks pretty cool and you can group all that and yeah, it looks really nice. Maybe if you go file, stylize, wind, and then OK. Gives it a little glow thing effect. It looks pretty nice. So yeah, I'm just going to do one more quick one. A new layer, filter, render, clouds. <clears throat> we'll do this one white, see what it looks like. Pixelate, crystallize maybe. Try that again. That looks alright. And then filter maybe stylize find edges. That looks pretty cool. Filter um, ripple. 
gives it like a cool electric type look looks quite cool then maybe filter motion blur that's pretty that's quite a cool effect maybe if we go filter stylize wind that's quite cool that'll look good like as an overlay over the top of something but yeah that's probably about it for this um, those are the five stocks that I've made. I'll give this pack away if we break 250 likes. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on how to make really nice stock overlays that you can use in the background of YouTube banners, thumbnails, logos, all that type of stuff. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you are new. Keep up the insane support on the channel, guys. It really does mean a lot. Um, and also let me know what video you'd like to see from me next. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.